Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today in this lesson, we are going to talk about the types of VLANs. But before we get into the types, let me give you a brief overview of what VLAN is. VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. It's a logical subdivision of a physical network. Imagine a single physical network like a school or office building which consists of several computers and devices connected by cables or Wi-Fi. Normally these devices would be a part of the same network and could communicate freely with one another. However, in many situations, you might want to divide this network into smaller segments to improve organization's performance or security. This is where the purpose of VLAN becomes apparent. VLAN allows network administrator to segment a larger network into smaller isolated networks without requiring additional hardware or physical cabling. VLANs are created on a switch by selecting specific ports and assigning those ports to a specific VLAN. Each VLAN functions as a separate network within the same physical infrastructure. For example, a company might have different VLANs for its marketing, finance, and human resource departments. This separation means that devices on one VLAN cannot directly communicate with devices on another VLAN, creating a more organized and secure environment. Ok, now here are some of the most common types of VLANs. Default VLAN When the switch initially starts up, all switch ports become a member of the default VLAN. Generally, all switches have default VLAN, named as VLAN 1, which makes them all part of the same broadcast domain. Using default VLAN allows any network device connected to any of the switch port to connect with other devices on the other switch ports. One unique feature of default VLAN is that it cannot be renamed or deleted. Think of this VLAN as a public lobby. New devices land here first. This VLAN is fine for initial setup but not for production traffic because everything can see everything else. Data VLAN Data VLAN is used to divide the whole network into two groups. One group of users and other group of devices. This VLAN is also known as user VLAN. Data VLAN is used only for user-generated data such as email, file transfer, and web access. This VLAN carries only data. It is not used for carrying management traffic or voice. Voice VLAN Voice VLAN is configured to carry voice traffic. Voice VLANs are mostly given high transmission priority over other types of network traffic. To ensure voice over IP quality across the network, we must have separate voice VLANs because this will preserve the bandwidth for other applications. Voice VLAN is like giving executives a dedicated hotline that never gets a busy signal. Management VLAN It is dedicated to managing network devices such as switches, routers and firewalls. It separates management traffic from regular traffic to enhance security. Basically, management VLAN manages system logging and monitoring. By default, VLAN 1 is the management VLAN. This VLAN ensures that bandwidth for management will be available even if user traffic is high. Native VLAN This VLAN identifies traffic coming from each end of a trunk link. A native VLAN is allocated only to 802.1Q trunk port. This trunk port places untagged traffic on the native VLAN. Untagged traffic is the traffic that does not come from any VLAN. It is best to configure the native VLAN as an unused VLAN. Native VLAN is like letting a visitor wait in a designated area until you decide where they can go. Trunk VLAN a trunk VLAN also known as tagged VLAN. It carries traffic for multiple VLANs across a single network link. You don't need a separate cable for every VLAN between switches. Just one trunk link acts like an elevator serving all the doors. 
port based vlan also known as static vlan in a port based vlan network administrator assigns specific ports on a network switch to a particular vlan this assignment is static meaning that any device connected to the assigned port automatically becomes a part of the designated vlan port based vlans are easy to set up and manage making them ideal for small networks with stable device placements such kind of vlans commonly used in office environments where departments have dedicated workspaces and little movement of devices mac based vlan in mac based vlans devices are grouped into vlans based on their media access control addresses this allows for dynamic assignment as devices are associated with a vlan regardless of their physical location mac based vlan provides flexibility because devices can be moved around the network without needing to reconfigure vlan assignments these vlans are useful in dynamic environments where devices frequently change locations or need specific access levels okay so in a nutshell mastering these vlan types will make your network faster safer and easier to manage even if you are just getting started in networking all right so this was all about the types of vlan i hope this will help you thanks for watching please subscribe